Hey guys, you are most welcome on my YouTube channel. And as we are doing history of English literature, and we have completed four chapters and 24 videos. We are going in depth of every topic. So hopefully you like the series. And today's topic is the flowering of Renaissance, which is also called the age of Shakespeare. The time period of the age is 1558 to 1625. Let's talk about first, let's go through the characteristics of A's and first is political peace and stability. And this was the key element which helped Renesa in flowering. Okay, Ke Renesa jo tha wo kaise is time pe peak pe pahuncha. What does uh, Renesa means? We have uh, cleared in previous video, but what does flowering means? Flowering means it was the peak time for English literature. So we are doing this and why it, why it uh, you know reach how it reaches to that peak. So the first condition was just because political peace and stability. Second was social contentment and why social contentment was there. Ki jo social contentment tha, wo tha us time pe. Religious tolerance. These were the things. Next thing uh, which really helped to Renaissance in flowering was the Queen's popularity and the upsurge of patriotism. Uh, patriotism, uh, we will see the representation of the works in representation, uh, Queen's representation, we can say, and expansion. Other other things were foreign uh, travel, foreign travels and fashions as uh, uh, we can consider this more of most important thing. Backwardness of the is and then we will come to conclusion and in next video we will feel we will uh, go through influence of renaissance on elizabethan literature so let's talk about uh, this thing first the age of shakespeare is known as golden age of english literature or sometimes the flower flowering of renaissance this part okay as uh, in previous video we have gone through that we have uh, three parts of uh, renaissance and this period started from accession of uh, Elizabeth in 1558 and the death of James I in 1625. Now remember this, uh, you know, uh, this fact uh, for deeper understanding. John Milton, in the words of John Milton, a noble and uh, puissant nation rousing herself like a strong man after sleep and shaking her invincible locks. So after sleeping, you can understand uh, why he is saying after sleeping uh, you have understood this fact I think uh, up to last video political peace and stability Elizabeth was a wise and sagacious queen that followed the policy of balance and modern uh, moder moderation both inside and outside the country and this helped in a you know to a greatest extent third thing was social content and that's why she was patterned to many, many even to Shakespeare. Uh, next one was uh, religious tolerance. यहाँ पर एक चीज समझने वाली है कि जब भी religious tolerance होता है या जब भी हम political peace होती है, stability होती है, तो then creativity comes out. If there is no peace, if there, we will talk about, uh, you know, we can compare two countries like Iraq, okay, uh, and if there is no peace. Uh, how people can be creative they don't find time to be creative to write down poems and other things they are busy in uh, you know earning livelihood and saving their lives so this was the uh, time which we find the you know most stability in society and in political scenario queen elizabeth was uh, you know popular that time and we find uh, you know representation in uh, works uh, like spencer so she was Spencer's Gloriana and uh, Raleigh's Cynthia and Shakespeare's Fair Vestal Throne by the West. Uh, he composes the sonnets and he wrote. Uh, like he, here, Pinto remarks that people rightly saw in her the incarnate spirit of nation and the age. Even the foreigners saw in her a keen cal calculating intellect and baffled the ablest statement in the Europe. Next thing was expansion. Expansion always helps literature and, uh, uh, you know, business. Uh, so we can uh, see this was the, you know, best time when uh, England got its expansion. 
both mental and geographical origins you can see mental and geographical horiz origins here is a great quote by you know s a brook here all over europe we will try to understand the expansion word and what was the expansion and this uh, remark helps a lot uh, in this regard all over europe especially in italy now closely linked to england the renaissance had produced a wild spirit of exhausting all the revival of uh, greek learning here here the things were like a uh, revival of greek learning and new patriotic fervor entered the soil of england from where we are uh, we are getting you know matter from greek mythologies and classicals and from italy as we know italy was the birthplace of renaissance italian sculptures painting imparted the sensuous rich color effect and love of beauty of england lit literature the pre raphaelite movement in victorian period took its origin from renaissance painting in italy so remember this thing uh, it is important to understand you know later raphaelite movement if you don't uh, know what raphaelite movement was i have made a separate video you can check out on my channel uh in victorian period took its origin from renaissance painting in italy there was a craze for uh, italian manners and fashions during shakespearean period every breeze was dusty with the pollen of greece roman and italy this quotation clears everything we will talk about influence of uh, renaissance in uh, next video so subscribe the channel and like the video so that uh, it can increase the uh, ranking of the video so thank you bye bye take care see you next video